There is some good news for Alexandro Bernabe as his Celtic hell comes to an end after securing a move to Internationale. But the bad news is it could all happen again next season as it is only a loan deal. Welcome back guys to Fog Football and it is official. Alexandro Bernabe has left Celtic. He's joined Brazilian side Internationale on a loan deal until the end of the year. So yeah, Bernabe leaving Celtic he's not a big fan favourite at Celtic to say the least he's the scapegoat at Celtic the GOAT that's why he's the scapegoat let's defend him a wee minute right he's not the best hell he's not even good but let's not pretend that he's the guy that single handedly cost Celtic yeah did he cost him in that 1-1 draw against Kelly that goal at the end absolutely but what about Joe Hart he could have saved it what about the closing down to the guy that whipped the ball in Celtic like to just pin scapegoats on people the left back position's a, a scapegoatish position at Celtic Park. Because even Greg Taylor, as good as he can be, see when he has a, a, a poor game and Celtic don't win, it's like, yeah, Greg Taylor's fault. No, look at Mikey Johnston, though. The guy's actually doing well in the championship, right? He scored a few goals for Celtic this season, and it just seems to be that Celtic fans gave up on him. I think it's a case of Rodgers trying to go his way, or the, his way, or the, and there's no way to go. My way or the highway! He's just not fancy, Burnaby. And here, Rangers got a similar situation, right? We're... No one wants Barisic to play, but you would still rather him at the club. Well, it's actually, sick. it's funny you brought up Barisic, because I was going to compare Bernabe to Yilmaz. I think when you look at Yilmaz in his first season at Rangers, it was a little bit similar to Bernabe, where he never really got much game time, but the fans weren't really sold on him. They didn't think he was good enough. Cost approximately the same amount of money. The only thing is, Yilmaz, after getting a period in the squad where he was getting like consecutive games has turned out to be a pretty good signing yep. and you know he's he's arguably now maybe not even arguably but he's probably the number one left back at the club whereas I mean you look at Bernabe and he's definitely not the number one left back at Celtic however he's not had he's not really had consecutive game time you think about it he only really comes in when Greg Taylor is unavailable I don't recall Bernabe getting three four five games where he was starting Week in, week out. No, he didn't. But why I compared him to Barisic? Because he's clearly the second choice at Rangers, right? But you'd rather have... No. Yeah, no. But uh, that's what I'm saying right now. People want the Barisic in January. But why I said it would probably be best while keeping them at the end of the season is... It's better to have two options there than not, right? I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because if Greg Taylor get injured, look how weak Celtic are already at the back. Bernabe's pish. But is it not better playing Burnaby at left back than, I don't know, forcing like Liam Scales out there who's got no pace? <laughs> well, I think pe pe some people prefer Liam Scales out there over Burnaby. But you know what? I would actually say Burnaby in the last couple of months, I think, has probably had the best of his Celtic career. I think, no. he's looked, I think he's looked decent. I thought against Hibbs at Easter Road, he was the only good player. I know I did, I got two penalties, right? But in terms of actual overall right, well, how does third penalty go? Against Hearts? Aye. That was, that was his fourth, wasn't it? No? Was it? No, I actually, no, it was his fourth. I think it was his fourth, right? mate. Right, so, get your facts ah, right. Yeah, but Celtic get all the penalties. That's why I'm... Ah, you've I'm lost just, track. I'm thinking ah. ahead there. Yeah, so anyway, he does join Internationale till the end of the year. Now, I believe it is the end of 2024 because the Brazilian transfer market lasts longer or some shit like that. So, yeah, he will not be back for the start of Celtic season next year. If he is going to come back, it, it will be just towards the end, probably around December time. So we're looking at Bernabe going to be gone for like the next 10 months. So is his Celtic career done? I mean, if he performs well at Internationale, can he come back to Celtic or would that just open up the door to a permanent transfer? Can Bernabe come back? Especially, I don't know, does it does it hurt Bernabe's chances of coming back if Celtic lose the league this season? Or... If Celtic win the league this season, if they win the league, they're like, we don't want them back. But if they lose the league, they're like, right, well, maybe we need them. Uh, what, do you think it was, what, what's the best case scenario of Burnaby getting back into the Celtic team and not being sold on a they, permanent they basis? They lose Greg Taylor. They don't strengthen the area and they have to play him. That's probably the only way. That's the only way they're going to get him in this team. I mean, I don't think it matters how well he does this internationally because he hasn't done it for Celtic. You have to do it for the cl your parent club. I, I, it's all good having good loan spells, right? But if you can't do it for the team you're on loan from, well, then you're not going to get given a chance at the end of the day. And I think Celtic will definitely uh, improve in the left-back area if they have to. 
Can Celtic improve on Bernabe as a player? Absolutely. You can already argue, not even argue, they've got a player better than Bernabe by the looks of it at the club already in Greg Taylor. But in terms of the value and the price that Celtic paid for Bernabe, I don't really see them up in that in the near future to get a, a better left back. I don't see Celtic in the next couple of seasons spending six, seven, eight million pounds on a left back. I think around the three, four, five at tops is probably the most Celtic will pay for a left or right back position. To me, it's just not one of the positions that Celtic are going to spend big money on. Absolutely. I'm a bit of a, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a waste of money, man. We knew it at the time. At least with Yilmaz, I think there was always promise with Yilmaz, he was always considered. We knew it at the time. We knew Bernabe was pissed at the time. No, but there wasn't much hype around him. Yilmaz was considered one of the, the, the biggest... Well, Yilmaz uh, plays uh, in... Hold on, Yilmaz plays in Europe, Bernabe played in South America. What, so I think there players signed for South America with no, promise? No, 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 with Neymar? Not many, Raquel me. Nah, not not many. There's a lot, man. No, what about, about Messi? Julian Alvarez? Messi has been playing in the Barcelona fucking team since he was a fucking toddler. Aye, but he was like 15. That doesn't matter shit. It does matter. No, that doesn't matter. Here. That doesn't matter. Nah, that's not a good example. What about Martinelli? He came through the Brazilian league. I'll okay. give you that one. Right? There's a few other people. Aye, well, not many. That's the point I'm making. No, here. obviously, right, we're going to know more European people, but let's not pretend if you're from South America, no one knows who you are. Well, I'd say there's a good chance you could come from South America for five million. Nobody knows who you are, but you could be a good player. Yeah, I'll agree with that. That's all right. But I say, if, if, if you're in Europe and you cost £5 million, the likelihood is people are going to know who you are. Undoubtedly, Europeans are more known. We more we know more of the leagues, right? And if you look at what, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> right. Undoubtedly, the European market is more known to us, right? But I would say secondly to that is the South American market. Well, there's not many other options, is there? Like, I mean... No, we're a small planet, all right? We're not talking about Antarctica here, we're talking about South America that's produced some of the greatest players of all time, so know your role and shut your mouth as The Rock would say. Till next time, peace.